So, if you didn't know, twice a week I work night shift. Last night was one of those days. It is officially 12.43. Ooh, B-reel just popped up. You guys are going to be in my B-reel. You like it? But yeah, it's officially the afternoon, which works much better when you're cutting. So yeah, time to get up. Yesterday was a low carb day, so I'm flattening myself out and and yeah, that's how I look. What do you all think? Rate the current physique in the comments below. I think we're looking pretty fucking good to be honest. Definitely the best package that I've bought so far, which is perfect. Cool, let's go make dinner. I mean breakfast. <laughs> let's go make breakfast. So it's a second low carb day. We have 200 grams of egg, okay, four eggs, all scrambled using 100 mils of milk, salt, pepper, dill, and then adding a little bit of low fat cheese to it. And then pairing that just for a little bit of variety, we have some middle cut bacon as well. This looks amazing. And it is. For being on diet, you can get pretty creative. Cheese is a nice touch as well, actually. Can't stop eating it now, fucking hell. So you've started gym and you want to take it to the next level. What do you do? You start eating properly. And this is where you learn that you need to count your calories and your macros. So what is a calorie? All a calorie is, is a way that your body sees food. Your body does not see this delicious piece of bacon as bacon. It sees it as a certain amount of calories. And then breaking it down even further, you have macronutrients. You might have heard people use the term macros. And all they are is carbohydrates, fats, aka lipids, and protein. Now I think you've all heard protein, protein powder. Yes, your body needs protein when you're a bodybuilder. Now why is that? When you're lifting weights properly, you will tear the muscle very, very slightly. And that's what also hurts the next day because your muscles quite literally have slightly torn. Now what protein does is it repairs the muscles. If you didn't have enough protein, then your muscles wouldn't repair. Now, carbohydrates. I think you might have heard before, carbs are bad. They definitely are not. Carbs are not bad. Carbs are your body's main fuel source. When your body is working at medium to high intensity, it will use carbohydrates as its fuel source. And once your carbs are gone, it'll start to use fats. Fats are your secondary fuel source. That's all the fats are. And important to note, your body will use fats at a lower intensity. So while I'm sitting here moving my arms around, I'm using fat as my fuel source, not glycogen. Whereas if I were to go run down to the shops, my body would be using glycogen because it's at a higher intensity. So now that you understand what carbohydrates, fats, and protein are, your macronutrients, let's go back to calories. The average female will be eating around 2,000 calories per day. Now using the word average is very, very broad. It varies on different things and I'll get to that. And the average male will eat around 2,500 calories per day. Now everyone's body is different, obviously. So this will be different for everyone. However, your body will need a certain amount of calories to stay the exact same. 
For example, if you need 2,500 calories to maintain, if you eat 2,500 calories, you will not gain or lose fat, you will maintain. This is called your maintenance calories. My eggs are getting cold, give me two seconds. Oh, so good. For example, a massive bodybuilder might have a maintenance calories of around 3,000. So they can eat a whole whopping 3,000 calories and still not gain or lose any fat. Whereas someone smaller, let's just go a tiny girl, smallest girl that you know, with the least body composition, may only need 1,500 calories to maintain. Now, that's at an extreme level. Now, there are a few things that will affect your maintenance calories. We have age, sex, body composition, and activity level. There are a few more when you get into body adaptations and stuff like that, but plain and simple, sex, age, body composition, activity level, and I think I added a, another one for no reason. So, to find your maintenance calories, there's a few ways you can do it. Through trial and error, which happens over time, you start to know your body a lot more, or what I recommend you do to start off, Go online, look up calorie calculator, insert your numbers into the boxes, it'll be gender, height, weight, and activity level. And then it'll give you a very rough maintenance calories for you to follow. Now, it's obviously not gonna be exact because your activity level isn't exactly training four to five times a week because you might have a very active job or might be sedentary a lot more of the day even though you do plenty of cardio at the gym. But after a while, you get used to it, and for now, that is fine. A calorie calculator is perfect to find your maintenance calories. Cool, so now we have our maintenance calories. Some people want to gain weight, some people want to lose weight. Now, to gain weight, you eat more than your maintenance calories. To lose weight, you eat less than your maintenance calories. I don't think that's rocket science. So, now that you have a good understanding of what calories are, macronutrients are, and what your maintenance calories are. I think we'll leave it for now because my eggs are getting really cold. Whoa. And we'll talk about how to actually track your food later on. So a big part of me lately has been working on my posing. I'm really starting to get into the freestyle flowy type posing. It also works very well for TikTok and a lot of people like to look at it. You know, like it's the side of bodybuilding which a normal person who's not interested in bodybuilding can appreciate and enjoy to watch. So I've been getting into that and it's been looking really nice. So once in a while, I'll just sit there posing. Well, no, I pose all the time. But I'll sit there trying to come up with different lines and stuff that I can do. And yeah, I just spent the past 15 minutes trying to learn this running out of breath. So I hope you enjoy. What do we think? Worth 15 minutes of my time practicing that? Let me know down below. I'm enjoying it, and honestly, I'm looking better than ever, so. So, we're gonna be going to the gym later today. Now, I do need to pick up something. Might go for a ride. Yeah. If you know, you know. Package acquired. So, I've got a weird little hobby that I've started. I've been really getting into coffee for some reason. Now, if you are an OG of the channel, you would know that I had my first coffee on the channel quite a while ago. And I had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. And now, I'm getting cool little packages because I got a new coffee machine which if you're following my other socials you would have already known and I believe there's more than this coming we got some coffee beans for free it was just a little add an extra that wait a sec wait Ooh, dark chocolate butterscotch almonds praline Latin American Arab Arabica. Oh shit, I'm gonna get flamed for that. You know, I just ran out of coffee beans for my coffee machine. So, these came at a really good time. I wasn't home when they arrived, so that's why I just had to leave then. Ooh, they smell nice. And yeah, I got all four of these for free. 
Well, I'm happy now. And I do think it's time for another coffee in saying that. So, I guess it's lunch time. <sighs> okay, so now that we understand what calories are, what macronutrients are, and how to find your maintenance calories. We'll discuss how to actually track your calories. It's as simple as numbers. Whatever you eat, you put into the phone. Let's use this meal for an example. I'll have everything up on the screen as I explain it. So the app that I use and what is most commonly used, or well, what I see a lot of, is something called MyFitnessPal. It's free to download. There is a premium, but you don't need to buy it. It's really no point, especially just for tracking food. You don't need a premium. Don't buy it, it's free. So for lunch, this is this is three ingredients. So I had 200 grams of lean beef mince. I then had 100 grams of cauliflower, which was mashed up to make somewhat of a rice. And then 100 grams of frozen winter vegetables. And as you can see up on the screen, that's what it looks like. So 100 grams of cauliflower, 100 grams of veg, and 200 grams of lean beef mince. And that there you can see is 388 calories. Now that is what your body sees. In this bowl, there is 388 calories. Give or take maybe 10. It's as simple as that. Now they're gonna be two best friends while doing this process. You're gonna want one of these, a scale, in particular a food scale. And luckily enough, MyFitnessPal has a barcode scanner. Now I'll use this tin of tuna as an example. Now as you are in the screen to select what food you want, all you're gonna click is scan a barcode and then just go over the barcode and ta-da, it picks up exactly what food it is. Not only does this make it so much easier than searching it up, it also makes things a lot more accurate. So you know that this, it's this tuna, not some other tuna. And then simply, just change the amount of servings that you're gonna be having. For example, I think I'll be having half of this can later. So that's about 210. 210 grams, done, added. Now you just do this throughout the day. So you track all of your breakfast, weigh every single component, make sure there's nothing that you were eating that you were not tracking. Because 99.9% .9 of things have calories in it. And until you start tracking, you don't really know what calories are and how many calories are in each food. For example, did you know in a salad, the dressing has the most calories by a lot. And you'll start to find these things as you experiment and start tracking your calories. So what I suggest to you, buy a scale, download MyFitnessPal or some other similar app which is trustworthy and just start tracking stuff. You're not gonna pick it up instantly. I could sit here for hours telling you how to do this. You were never going to learn if you don't try it yourself. So before this gets cold, I'm gonna start eating this and enjoy my food because there's basically no carbs in this at all. Fuck. I forgot salt and pepper. I'm so bland. <laughs> okay, I'll see you all at the gym.
Arms back, not your back. Yeah, now lean back. That's the one. So, now that we actually know how to track our calories, let's put it into practice. We firstly weigh our chicken, 100 grams, give or take 10 grams for the bag. Chuck it on the pan to cook, and then while it's cooking, we'll add it to the diary in the app. Then we weigh our vegetables, 105 grams of this. I'm lazy, so I microwave it. And then while it's in the microwave for about a minute and a half, we'll add it to the diary again. All up, 201 calories. And for the day, we can see that we have 171 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat. Now that it's all cooked, we can enjoy it. Enjoy knowing that I know exactly what is in this dish, as far as calories goes. It's not much, but... I enjoy it. Now, if you've made it this far, I applaud you. Well done for watching the whole thing and thank you. Well done for actually wanting to put a little bit of change in your life. Tracking your calories is the next thing you need to do for big improvements in your physique and just living a healthier lifestyle in general. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here, like the video if you learned anything at all, and I hope you have an amazing one. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.